G'day guys, Sam here, and here to talk about Bitcoin and my short-term ideas on to make this trade. Looking at the two charts, one's on Coinbase, the other one's on Bybit, and you can see the difference between the wicks or the tops, but the rest is very similar. Now, what do I think? I think this looks like a bull flag, but the question is, where do you enter? So let's have a look at this and go through potential scenarios. Um, one, some people think it's like a triangle, so yeah, it could, it could be anything really. You can make all the formations all you want. And one, one of my ideas is a scenario that I think could take place. And let's just go through that. Um, let me prepare this, whoops. You can see the four hour. Not quite, um, actually, let's just get rid of that. Phoenix. I'll just add the MACD if I have. I don't have the MACD on this one. So I'm looking for an entry. I'll miss a few, potentially. So what we have is convergent with the trend. So when we look at the four hour, it's, it's pretty nice. The trend's using this 10 and 20 moving average ribbon. And there is no reason why it can't still use this 10 moving average. Uh, while we keep changing colors, doesn't compete. All right, so we can keep touching the 10 moving average every, and what it, what it can do is eventually break out, bang. All right, as this catches up and, is a sque and squeezes it up and eventually it becomes a pivot point and up it goes. So that's one, one idea. On the one hour, actually, just let's do this as well. So that's one scenario. If I was to do this, in many cases, um, you get this, you can get a, a breakout and then fall down, right? And that, and it just keeps going down. So if you get a strong wick, you'll get, you'll, you'll need to short it. If it goes very quick too early, it's a shorting position, especially for the likes of that. Especially if it goes down and the wicks comes down, it's a shorting position. It will come back down, and the bull and the bulls will come in and try, try to hold it. So don't fall for that. It's probably a good position to short. If in the other scenario, like this one, what happens is if I was to look at the four hour on this one, just to make it the other scenario. And uh, let's just clean this up. Is that it drops. It drops and it's actually let's do the two hour one. It drop, uh, not so. So here, here's the liquidity. It, it picks up that liquidity. So what happens is it drops, picks up the liquidity. You see the wick is a, um, an SFP, swing failure pattern, and then it just goes up. But you've got to watch how it goes up. If it goes too fast, it will come back down quickly, and you get a swing failure pattern. What happens is, you want to see it come to the 4 hour, 20 moving average, I think. So if it drops, and then just slowly grinds back, holds, it, holds this level, and then grinds back up, then you, you start to see momentum move. To the upside so it's really coming to that so i'll like the 20 moving average on the four hour just like this so if there's a wick and then it just and the candle closes above then that's and it closes on the four hour with a let's clean this up a bit sorry to make not make it too hard let's just start and explain that again If price does what it does and then drops, because a short, they want to go short, it's likely to touch a 20 moving average, and that will be, and if you see the response as a strong wick, like similar to this one, then that's showing you bullishness, and and it will just and the way and the way this 10 and 20 moving average keeps going, then you will and it's still holding that level, that is a bullish sign to enter and go. So I'm looking to buy that dip especially slightly below that 
buy that dip below this level for liquidity and then see how it goes so that'll be my entry on the one out that's one good scenario like i said if it goes too quick from here especially if it drops here and then goes up you'll get you get pulled back down hard so you don't want to see that either you want to see it come down in and the other scenario where i'm like looking at on the four hour is um this if we get small candles on the four hour slowly coming down red green red green red and then we get this coming and then we start seeing a bullish candle in that pocket so if it comes down slowly and then you get a, a nice bullish candle from the 10 moving at 20 moving average it's a bullish candle we call it the cradle and the chances are that it bounces up with the macd like that 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 is your single to, signal to enter and then this moving average will just push it up and then we'll just continue on right <clears throat> We talked about on my previous video why that was a strong resistance and uh, let's touch that and talk about what I think afterwards what, what's likely to take place. The anchored VWAP comes down and uh, let me just get rid of this for a sec. You can see, well, hold on, we've got these levels as well. Bummer. Got to hide some of this. Now, I see this trend line and it's, it's a weekly trend line we have support support and support this is the secondary line and we found support and support there as well i'm not i'm not in favor of this one here people start to use this yeah you can probably use it but i'm not in the favor of that one i'm looking at the macro and i think that's that's this is always use a secondary there's usually a secondary line that uh, makes sense um is likely to be resistance now watch this if i get rid of that and i'll put my fibonacci in there the macro fibonacci from the top to the bottom you see my golden ratio right look at the golden ratio it's also got the point of control from a volume perspective so it's one of these ones there you go so the point of control along with the 0.618 that is going to be a strong resistance because we've got two elements on the chart. So the 618, 39,000. Yeah, 40,000 people say, but this one actually makes sense. Now look at this. So we've got the weekly chart, right? Look at the confluence. Weekly level there. That is a weekly level, give or take. Don't, don't be too perfect on the number. But that is a weekly level. So when price came up, it found resistance and pull back and that was i think the here we go let me explain more fibonacci guys here we go look at that the 1.414 the 1.272 took it up as support so the weekly that was a good chance and it's slightly overperformed the golden ratio but initially let's just flick that to the left Give it take a bit just perfectly you can see how that really aligned there perfectly to that to the bottom you can see the wick right there perfectly on the 1.414 and perfectly on the 1.618 this was a fake out take the liquidity from the top and bang down dirty that was nasty i learned my liquidity trading this year unfortunately I didn't know much about this so this liquidity stuff is significant here there's liquidity lower lower and then this one didn't do it but that was enough took out the the lows the, the long um, stop losses and then bang up and that was the last one there liquidity took that liquidity and down nasty so when you look at that that level played a significant level but the weekly, so we're going looking now. We're looking from a weekly perspective, point of control. That is a strong resistance, guys. So if I see this clawing its way up, I, I see it coming down a fair bit. That came down. What was it 
from there to there that came down 20 30 percent guys it could be 10 20 percent it wouldn't surprise me that it comes down a lot now that could be equivalent to this all right so that could be our equivalent or it just it does this type of thing so we we have a bear flag or we range here for a while because a lot of shorts come in but this is definitely a strong support level so if it does come down all the way down there that'll be strong support and then we range here for a while and then i think we'll make another move to this next level take that liquidity and then back down again and, I, and so we could potentially end up to 48k but initially the 39k is our main resistance people think 35 the thing is the 30 was significant the 30k was significant it took a lot of time to get past it and when you look at it from this part it's not really that long is it? <laughs> but um so we had a number of ways of looking at this chart we also said um, along these lines that was a, a breakout trade this is a bump and run reversal beautiful it's also the um, Stan Weinstein strategy like that and there's a whole bunch of strategies in there I like the fact that this is broken above I think this is still gonna go we we'll probably hit 50k guys and now here's the now here's the other thing so let's just clean this all up what we can do is remove the log and then very similar this could be our ultimate target potentially for this run we did the same here yep so if we were to do that you can see maybe we play this out that was there and that's our equivalent and then it did a pullback so what we in the past we've spoke about it that's our one two three and i'm still in the it's still only a theory but i'm still in the mindset that we have a b a c black swan event that stuffed it up so we might if we get there i think it's an a b c and then no, if there's no black swan event we continue on and uh, we go through this phase somewhere here so if this keeps going we play that phase and uh and it makes sense because that was a neckline yep that's a strong neckline and if we look at it from a fibonacci perspective it's also a golden ratio roughly a golden ratio level let's do that again put that in look at that so from there to there it's our golden ratio perfectly as well so i think this is going to be potentially there i think it will come back down we we'll use this trend line and what does this have to do with the stock market well if the stock market keeps going then it pulls back so let's have a look at the stock market let's see where it is the stock market maybe will continue up and then drop so we might just get that or somewhere in between I think we'll we'll just do that again because it's pretty obvious that people are just going to start shorting and so what they'll do is they'll push it back up so take this liquidity take it out and then back down so we had a a b c d i think that's a nice harmonic i think it will go up but will it will it pass i think it will come back down now the thing is we have our tr macro trend line here this is a bit of a fake out this is where it's going to be tested if this happens and this needs a hold and then continue on and then look for new highs up there it does align with my three to four structure and the five could be slightly above that and then see what happens otherwise it's it's if this doesn't happen it just comes down further and um, then we'll look at it from a another fibonacci level let's see let's look at that okay so that is our 618 let's look at it another way 
maybe down here and then back up yeah we could be going sideways for a while that could be another reason so there's a lot of scenarios but um let's see the us dollar the us dollar did f f break out this channel and then bounce back up this is not going to be an easy chart to f work out here we go so we come to a resistance see what happens there um it's a hard one that's definitely some some of the mindset that uh we can potentially do that okay potentially do that get a get a rejection come back down and then potentially up or further down on the us dollar those are my thoughts guys so when we look for a trading opportunity i'm looking at that you can probably i'm, I'm bullish on it um this seems to be a nice strong candle it might come up there get a bit of rejection and then back down again but that might be a good signal that's a nice bullish candle i think it's starting to build up this way i like to see it come down but the, the more it struggles the more likely it will drop and find that support level then we might have that kind of structure where potentially like that it's not gonna happen too quick i think um, i'm gonna leave that there guys there's a few scenarios i'm gonna average I, I want to average in but i missed that so i'm just looking for a trade simple rule people think it's a triangle yeah that could be one as well where it just squeezes and then pops up and uh yeah average in guys it's, it's broken the 50 percent level so it's looking good i'm gonna leave that that please give me a like and a share and i'll talk to you soon cheers